Hello, hello, how are you? It's been so long I haven't been on my purpose of time. Now welcome to purpose of time. I was having a little sweet, so if you see something colorful in my mouth, that's the cause of what I was having in my mouth. Sweetie. <laughs> Alright, so welcome to purpose of time. I miss you guys so so much. You know, have been doing my property time videos on Facebook Live, but you know, I decided that I'm just coming back right here where I belong. That's YouTube because I've been doing some stuff in my life that I need some more time, and I'm focusing on my channel and my career to come. All right, so how is everybody doing oh my god i miss you so so much god have been so good to me and i've done so many things in my life still doing stuff and i'm so grateful today i want to be very short with you i want to speak to you in short i just want to tell you something about god i really don't know where really but i just want to talk today Okay, specifically, I don't know really how to open my channel, like a welcome back video or whatever, but I'm just going to speak about God not wanting anyone to be lonely, right? This is property time. Remember, I'm very religious, or should I not say religious, but I'm a child of God, and I believe in what God has <laughs> said in his Bible, and what he has led his prophets and uh, disciples both to us, right? So, pretty much, I'm just, I'm just going to talk about relationship this morning. <laughs> it's been a while I know I had a channel I spoke about relationships like most of them was like the car is done or some of them was like you know thinking you know and saying yeah that would do and that would wouldn't do <laughs> alright so today I just want to talk about Isaac and Rebecca if we know the the story it's pretty much in Genesis <laughs> I should think but I just want to say that you know God don't want anyone to be lonely and today if you are alone and you're saying yes um, single life is better God don't want anyone to, to be lonely remember when he created Adam <clears throat> He pretty much says that he realizes that Adam had everything but not a woman. And so he put him to sleep and remove his rib and have <coughs> a <coughs> female mate from his rib. And so we see that Christ embraces companionship. Christ embraces marriage. Christ embraces everything that comes with being not lonely. So today I know that a lot of persons out there might be thinking that they are single for a reason and God wants it to be like that. God don't want them to have anybody. I mean Paul said it though. He said if you can be single, <laughs> you can, but I specifically think not that God want anybody to be really single, like single single. And so today I just want to speak about when you find that person how you find that person what's the attraction the laws of attraction how do you go about finding that person um it's pretty much um a heart mind thing because what you think about and what what you be actually is pretty much what you get if somebody get what i'm saying it's not about what you really want to portray but it's really what you show so you can be thinking, I want to be like a bank manager. But really, are your actions behaving like and like such? Or is it just a mind thing? You have to be it. And so, um, in Isaac and Rebecca, they met each other. And they were a match. As you can read the scripture, I'm not going to go down to it much. But you realize that they were compatible. You realize that there were some things that they exchanged that was um, with God and God as I said before God life he loves companionship you don't want us to be lonely you know that this journey this life journey serving him would be pretty much lonely so he said go ahead and get a partner praise 
praise me with them and that's what i got one today and so if you're going through a breakup or you're going through a single life right now don't even pray a prayer to god you know best or what yes you always know best but i mean the prayer you should pray is provide that one for you the purpose one that i'm gonna do a series on purpose made um coming soon not really now but i just want to say this to the viewers right now so you can tune into that i i really want to speak heart to heart with people who are in relationships and who are planning on having a long term relationship because that's what christ like long term relationship marriage not the upper not the up not the same sex but opposite sex as we can see that Adam was actually made for Eve and Eve for Adam, not the other way around, right? So, and then again, if you were both gender, how would the creation be? How would I be alive? How would you be alive to watch this video? So today I just want to pour out to somebody and to let you know that what you're saying right now that God will need to be single, that's not true. God wants everyone to have companionship. It's how we do it. You know, and so in scriptures, you see, it's it's said that, um about having somebody and calling them, calling them your wife or your husband. I mean, in the olden days, we have not marriage, but right now, Christ actually embraces for us to live live according to the law. And so, the law is to get married. Paperwork. Remember, back then you could give a donkey, you could give break bracelets and etc etc right now we have stuff we have the bank we have papers titles car etc we cannot be doing just giving them and taking them with our papers so that's the reason why when i think about it that's the reason why we have to marry and show paperwork and so we have to obey this kind of rule because it's one that christ said we have to obey the law of the land and so a lot of person do their own thing but i'm not here to talk about that right now today i'm just here to talk about how we should go about having and ensuring that we don't be too burdened down about the fact that we're single or we're going through a breakup or something might have happened and we're not even getting married right so it's not something to be sad about it's something to, to prepare yourself for a lot of person get in relationships and they weren't prepared and so when they get into it they don't have the energy the mind energy the emotional energy the spiritual energy for it and so this comes uh weird because somebody might say how can you prepare for a relationship oh yes you have to be prepared just like you prepare for work just like you prepare for church just like you prepare for school when you were going to school if you're still not going to school just like you prepare for your business anything you have to prepare you have to prepare for a relationship because a relationship is just important as any other thing to monitor and to, to actually sustain it takes a lot of energy and somebody say if you don't have the time and energy for a relationship then you don't even try to accomplish it you don't even try to get it because this is going to cost you a lot inside out and so sometimes you become really drained spiritually that you don't have any time for your emotion emotional life and so it continues to spread across your 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 aspect the entire um relations of your life <laughs> and somebody might say that you are not keeping up with your relationship but the truth is these things take time take patience it takes endurance, it takes strength, it takes energy, it takes so many things from you. You don't even know what a relationship, a true God-given relationship actually contains and what it possesses. It takes a lot. And so somebody would say, don't get involved in love until you're ready for it. And no one will ever be ready for love actually because it's something that takes a lot, depending on the partner you have as well. You don't know what's gonna happen, but the best thing you can do is actually prepare yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, all the aspects of life. Because time gonna come when you're just gonna feel so dry, so worn out, and you're gonna wonder why. I'm, 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 did God really like put me here? Did God really do this? Did God really do me? And you're gonna ask questions, but at the same time, remember, it's not gonna ever be easy. The first disagreement, I think, the first fuss and fight Adam and he had, 
Adam and Eve had was actually the one where Eve took the apple to Adam. And so Adam didn't want to taste it, but you said taste it, and Adam didn't want to taste it. And so, and so after that comes sin. So we're going to have disagreements in relationships. We're gonna, it's not our perfect. Perfection was from, you, it, started, it started at creation and then it just lost. It got lost somewhere when, when, when sin took over. Right? When the eyes were open of our fellow ancestors, Adam and Eve. Right? So let us just think about relationships in a positive way and like a... A real thing because many people think about relationship like hey I just want somebody to go to move away to marry to have my children to get my children to um to be my sperm donor to cook for me to wash my clothes and all of that that's not it it's actually companionship something some something that you hold you cherish it you enjoy when times come you you, you smile you laugh you you share things you share tears you share mourning weeping you share sadness you share happiness you share all these things in life and somebody might think that it's just wow just relationship no it's not that just relationship it's just going through with life journey and relationship is an aspect of life that people run away from when it gets tough. But remember the vow that they practice is for better or for worse. And not a lot of person embraces the worst part of it uh, very well. <clears throat> and so I'm still on the point of you actually um, becoming aware of what you're in and what you're on about when you when you talk about a relationship. You know, so in 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 everything you're ever going to do. And you think about a relationship or pr pursuing a relationship, remember you have to have that head space for it, the heart space, the energy. You, you have to have all of these things just to be prepared for it. It's not just a daddy house, right? I'm in a relationship right now and I'm telling you. And it's something beautiful. It's like the most beautiful thing you have ever had because the thing that happens when you're ready for a relationship is that God is with you, especially when you put him in the center of it all. Especially when you say, God, I like this person. I want to love them. And I want to spend the rest of my life with them. But I want you to be in the middle of it. I want you to direct my path. I want you to actually confirm if this person is the one. Uh -huh. And so, when you reach this point where you're talking to God about your relationships, then you will intervene. Then you'll come right in and you'll actually allow things to flow the way you want it, the way you ask him to. A relationship is not just something you just get on it and you just wow. Mm -mm, it's a process. So what what do you do when you know you're really ready for a relationship? You see God. You see God and you actually be that person that you want. You see God, you be the you be the person that you want to attract. And so you get them. You actually don't seek God because you just want a relationship. You seek God because you know <clears throat> God <clears throat> is good and He's great and He can be greater if you let Him in. Right? So you don't seek Him because you want to use Him for an opportunity or a scapegoat, but you seek Him literally just to have your purpose mate in your life. My finals. In my final. <laughs> In my final speech, because I don't know what's happening in my voice, I'm hoarse. But in my final saying, all I need you to know is that relationship is good, companionship is good, God loves it, and He don't preach against it. He don't say no one should be alone until they die in old and gray. All you say is that you get that person and you join hands and heart with them, you go and obey the law, you get married. Alright, but it's a process, as I said before. And so before you get married, you got to go through a process. <laughs> you got to know each other. You got to actually see 